Hey CHS, Inc. TV is back reporting on all of the school events in February. I'm your host, Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm Ainsley Better. To start the episode off, the National Technical Honor Society hosted in-school workshops from February 6th to the 13th on various subjects and activities. Let's go to Emma Walenta with more information on this year's NTHS workshops. Thanks, Izzy. The NTHS Council changed the format of the workshops from this year to previous years. This year, NTHS hosted workshops during one week of lunch and activity periods. Originally, NTHS members scheduled the week of workshops to be from Monday, February 6th to Friday the 10th, but they were extended to the following Monday due to a snow day on Thursday the 9th. Sessions were led by NTHS members during one half of lunch. Workshops included cookie decorating, light painting, resume writing, ransom note poetry, logo design, and origami. Let's go to Sarah Lint with her take on this year's workshops. The NTHS workshops this year were really a huge success. Um, in the past, they've kind of been spread out throughout the year as different NTHS members do them, but this year we decided to put them all in a week. And I think that that worked out super well um, because it, we could advertise it as the week of NTHS. Um, so we were really excited about that. We had workshops and everything from light painting to ransom note poetry to cookie decorating. Um, so we got a lot of great turnout um, and we were really happy with how it went. For MTV, I'm Emma. Now back to Izzy and Ainsley in the studio. Thanks, Emma. The last few weeks in February brought unusually warm weather and clear skies for mid-winter months. Courtney Kushner took to the halls of CHS to find out how students enjoyed the change of pace. Uh, I've been wearing I've been wearing shorts on the weekends, which is weird to do in uh, in February or March now. Um, I've been hanging with my I've been hanging with my friends really more outdoors now, not indoors, and I've actually been going to the beach. Um, I've been going to the beach a lot because I live like a block from the beach, so spending a lot more time up there. Swinging is always a good time. Me and Mary Ryan go swinging all the time. <laughs> Um, we've been going to the reservoir and walking there and hiking as a family. I have been taking long walks with my dog. Yeah, I've been really enjoying the warm weather. I take walks with my dog. Um, I really like it. I always feel a lot better when the weather's nicer, but it makes me a little nervous because of global warming, and I don't really know if there's any solutions yet, but for right now it's sweet. So. Thank you, Courtney. CHS held the fourth annual fashion show on Friday, February 24th. Dylan has more information on the 2017 fashion show. This year, seniors Julia Party of Fremont and Ali Quo of Titten Falls hosted the fashion show. Junior Emma Wenta and sophomore Grace Trushoff were the assistant event coordinators. Party and Quo held a run-through of the show on Thursday, February 23rd. The event began promptly at 6.30 p.m. on Friday. Students dressed up in outfits from stores all over Monmouth County and walked the runway. Stores featured in the show included Sweet Joey's, Inlet Outlet, Palm Place, Vanilla Sky, Lucky Clover, Gordon's Surf Shop, The Bee, Pat the Tailor, and Dresses and More. Each store was introduced with videos from student fittings, edited by junior Bridget Garrett of Wall. Junior Julianne Sackett of Remsen and senior Mark Despina of Lincroft organized local bakeries and restaurants to donate food that was sold during a 15-minute intermission. Decorations were designed by junior Audrey Mannion of Brielle. Seniors Leo Ross of Fairhaven and Justin Bolt of Howell DJed the fashion show. Julia Pardee is here with her take on this year's event. The fashion show went even better than I expected. It went really smoothly. I think the run through before was really smoothly, went really smoothly too because we had the stage set up in advance as opposed to having the models set it up the day of. So I thought that was really a good decision on our part because it just made the entire event run more smoothly and everyone knew what they were doing. Uh, the profits from the event were better than we had and I was really happy with how it went overall. For Ink TV, I'm Dylan. Now back to Izzy and Ainsley in the studio. All right, thank you, Dylan. CHS students had the chance to save lives on Tuesday, February 28th by donating to the annual blood drive. Here's Kate Urdu with the story. The National Honor Society hosted a blood drive to help benefit the New Jersey Blood Center. Junior and senior students were invited to donate, though they had to meet specific weight and health requirements to be eligible to participate. Parents were also welcome to donate. Donors were required to go to the recovery room where they were encouraged to replenish their energy with snacks and drinks. Food and drinks were donated by NHS members. For Ink TV, I'm Kate Redu. Now back to Izzy and Ainsley in the studio. That's all of the CHS happenings during February. Signing off, I'm Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm Ainsley Vetter. Have a great day and we'll see you in March. Thank you.